The Upturned is a chaos-fueled physics nuke of a horror game created by Zekers, who you may have heard of from a small little game called Lethal Company. You play as Hat Guy, who recently died under unknown conditions and entered the afterlife, and you need to ascend 1,434 floors to get to your room. However, small issue, elevator barely works, and you arrive on a number of floors which hold hordes of enemies, ranging from these crawly dudes who jump on the walls, to Birdemic, and this massive bundle of fun. And of course, everything you see, you can pick up and toss around, leading to a variety of effects. On top of the wonderful gameplay, it's gotta be one of the funniest games I've played in a long time. The humor is on point every step of the way, never dropping the ball even a single time. And with that humor, the horror was actually very well balanced. To say I was surprised with the quality of this game would be a massive understatement. It was a wild ride, and the storytelling is pretty top-notch too. Also, this dude has got to be one of my favorite characters now, with his little arm and big smile. What a guy. So, without further ado, enjoy The Upturned. Name our character. Hmm. I know how this works. There's a certain gimmick to this name. Schmeagle? Okay. S? H? <laughs> yes, I do like my name. What is the traveler's last name? Ut. His name is Shut. Okay. Um, didn't it didn't quite cut it off. Um, shut up. Shut to shoot shoot to shoot to. His name is Shoot to. So here's my favorite gimmick of the game, Chad. It has a really good physics. So you can hold stuff, right? You can you can move stuff around, and then you can throw it. Just chuck everything everywhere. It's such a great game. You know what? I want the door. Thanks. See you. All right, let's head over. Oh, oh. There it is, chat. <laughs> All right, chat. My favorite character coming up right here. This is my favorite character in the whole game. So, right here. Here he is. Why, hello, and welcome to the Upturned Inn. Would you like to book a stay? Yes, and your name is Mr. Shutu. Is that right? That's a strange name, but you do look like a strange little man. Ah, you already have a reservation. Of course, I should have known you did, because everyone does. Your room is on floor 1434, room number 14341. Remember that, chat. Don't worry, you can take the elevator. In fact, there's no stairs. Aha, I forgot to introduce myself. You may call me Ick. I am the founder of this establishment. As such, I take personal concern for your pleasure and safety. Floor complete! Woo! So yeah, that's the whole thing with this game, right? You complete floors, and you get a completely nonsense grade. Uh-oh. That's not quite right. Hello, Mr. Sh- Are you there? Yes. Ah, great. You are not incapacitated. Sir, this is ev is everything fine down there? I heard an unholy screeching from the elevator, and I couldn't tell if it was you or the cables. And coincidentally, at the same time, I looked out through the front windows and saw another small strike of lightning. I haven't seen a storm since, well, HELP! Ah, uh, yes, right. Are You are still in the elevator. Let me see. I have an app for this exact scenario. It will show me a 3D diagram of the elevator's current position. Mr. Utu, the elevator is sideways. Could you locate the power box within the elevator and open it up? It should be up high somewhere. You'll have to jump and grab at the same time. The power box should be somewhere- Oh, right, yeah, I got it up here. Yeah, there we go. That's what I need to do. Always forget about that word. As I thought, the plug is fried. I suppose it's true I haven't switched on- It's switched on in 40 years. Scream. <laughs> Oh no, Mr. Utu, please calm down. This is all covered in the manual. We just have to follow procedure. I may be able to open the elevator doors. Could you go out and see if you can find a new and shiny power plug, then bring it back and put it in? I am terribly sorry to ask so many favors of one of my guests. It's unprofessional, but this is all I can do. I can do it. Okay, I'm gonna open the doors. Just wait, it might be a moment. <laughs> there we go. Grab that, and then head on back. I'm sure that's nothing. I'm sure there's no problem here at all. Bonk! No, this is the best cutscene in the whole game. Prepare yourself. This is the best cutscene in the entire game. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Damage taken, 99. U minus. Let's go. So I played this a bit ago. I don't quite remember it. So it's a bit blind, but not really. I don't quite remember everything I need to do here. So we'll see how this goes. Mr. Utu, did the elevator break again? No, no, Mr. Utu, it's okay. You can tell me the truth. What number is that? Ah, 34. Yes, that's the maintenance floor. You shouldn't be in danger there. I mean, why would you be in danger? I'll open the elevator doors. Head in and see if you can find a power plug. I'm opening the doors. Here we go. The first actual level, if I remember correctly. Give me the door. The big mechanic with this game, Chad, is you're probably wondering, why do you need to grab everything? This is why. It's parkour. And you've got to make little ways to get over things. So we gotta get up there, right? And these red ones, that's a dangerous object. Please put it down carefully. No. Come on. Die! We're gonna, we're gonna build our way up. Gonna just uh, grab one of those and not set it off. That'd be ideal. Chad, how about we just try again? Dang it! Oh, that could work actually. Yeah! <laughs> mm. Nice. Then we should just be able to bring it back just like that. R plus! Woo! R for radical, exactly. Open the doors. So yeah, this is the whole game. Uh, now we're gonna start seeing uh, some not so friendly fellows uh, as there's multiple mechanics that we need now to work with, such as levers. That, as you can see. There it is. Boop. Thank you. We need to get a key. Hmm. There it is. <laughs> so these are a guy these are guys now that are a significant issue to my well-being. But what we can do is when they become a problem, we can throw stuff at them and stun them. Sir! <laughs> I'm busy. I hear a ruckus on your end of the line. Is something wrong? Yes. Is it Lawrence harassing you? He's one of my other guests. Mr. Utu, I apologize greatly. Just chuck some things at him. I won't charge you for the property damage. One hit to stun, another hit to knock out. <laughs> Only a day before retirement. <laughs> Floor complete. <laughs> F minus. Open the doors. So yeah, this is the gameplay loop. You go through each level, doing the thing, and each level, lot, at least a lot of levels, have their own gimmicks. <laughs> you know the stunt where they walk on hot coals? This must be the extreme version of that, yeah. Okay, here we go, chat. <laughs> Slow progress. Is that God bridging? <laughs> Yes. Mr. Utu, have you found the power plug this floor yet? You sound tense. Well, it's just that something is approaching your destination rapidly. It's not using the elevator. It's coming from above you, Mr. Utu. I don't know how it's going down so fast. It's gone straight through five floors since we've started talking. Don't worry, sir. Take your time. But also, I'd advise you to hurry, as if your life depended on it. For fun. Nice. Key collected. Bop, bop, bop. Here he is, the fat pajama man. Ah, ha, ha, ha. This is kind of his thing. My golly, he must have woken up from his beauty sleep. Yes. Ah, There's so much stuff in the way. Dang it. Ah, I went through a wall. Ow. Oh, boy. There it is. Go, 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 go. Okay. That's the fat pajama man. He met the fat pajama man. Whew. All right. Here we go. All right. Across this. This. There we go. And here. Boom. Nice. Grab another box. We're heading off. It's time to go. It's time to go. Because it's the birds. We need to find a uh, a locked door. We got the key. Where's the locked door now? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Got one. Okay. Good start. Nice. Another one. There it is. Right shield. <laughs> There we go, that works. That eh, kind of works. Yep, works enough. Okay, cool. Sometimes it's better to run. Who makes you say that? <laughs> Dang it! It's time to go! I need to get enough room in here to work. Oh, I can target lock? Owen? Wait, yeah, they have names? 
Oh my gosh, they have names. Okay, well, there we go. They're all dead. Okay, it's just time to leave. It's time to leave. That bird had three children. Guess they're all orphans now. Yep, M minus. Woo! Floor 133. Welcome to the Upturned Public Library. There we go. All right, we got the key. Where are we headed? Let's see. Oh, not that way. Not going that way. Hey, Lawrence. Get him. Get him. Oh, there's another Lawrence. There's another one? There's two? I think it might be time we leave. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Got a key. There we go. Nice. And we'll just open this up. Hold the door. Hold the shield. Oh, man. What's my grade? G boys. Oh, this level. I watched Zach play this level in a VC one day. Wanna see why this level is so freaky? There's a certain character in the water. Unlike uh, Ruin, it's not scripted. There he is. The water may be dangerous. Really? Oh boy. Ah, ah, ah! Okay. Yeah, he's also attracted to sound. That's the big thing, right? So not only if I land in the water, he locks onto me. As you can see! Give me three here. Got it. Bad dog! Bad dog! Bad dog! How do I get out of here again? Ah! <laughs> Alright. We're balling. Alright. Ah! Go, 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 go. Alright. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Uh, Z minus! Who said that we want to get a Z minus? Who said that? We got it. Chapter two. Boing, 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 boing. Opening the Zors? Oh, great. There we go, this. Oh, it's an arcade. We need to go. Oh, there it is. That's what it is. There we go. Okay. What's in going on in here? Okay. There we go. There we go. Get a dumbbell. Bonk. Ooh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza opened up. Hats off. No. I'll take this. Screw your hats off. Let's be lever in the barbershop somewhere. Hold on. Oh, it's up there. There we go. The janitor closet? Oh, the janitor closet. Where was that? Or was it just this that opened? It was just this that opened. That thundercloud side is blustering again. I really just called you because I was ever so slightly afraid. It's never been so empty in the lobby. It almost sounds like the storm I was under when I died. How did you die? Man, I shouldn't have brought that up. <laughs> Let me think. Okay, okay, man, you you do that. Oh boy. Oh goody. Okay, Mr. Utu, I'll tell you how I died, but first you have to tell me what happened to you. I don't know. Uh Ha ha, wait, what? What do you mean? Did you get sick, fell off a cliff, got stabbed, took a bullet, became alligator poop, or don't, or you don't want to say? No, I don't know. You may have to get to the bottom of this. Sir, I won't rest till we know what killed you. And then I still won't rest because we can't sleep in the afterlife. <laughs> oh my god, you can find any records. You do that, man. All right, where is the switch? There it is. Um, all right, and the thing that opened is right over here. There it is. Look at the toy robot. It's the toy robot from Lethal Company. Go. Oh boy, I'm bringing a chair with me. By the chair is my guardian. Oh boy. Go, it is time to go. It is time to go. It is time to go. <laughs> okay, we're leaving. Open the doors. I think you mean opening the doors. All right. Big control switch. Oh, great. Is it safe to go down? I'm assuming it is. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Boing. 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 Can we get him? Bring a box with me. There we go. Okay, there we go. Acquired. Holy. Oh, okay, that was it. This way, there we go. There we go. That guy went down for a cup of tea. Uh, he didn't mention it. He uh, avoided it after saying it. C plus, hey, not bad. Dang it, opening the snores. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that, we ordered metal detectors for security reasons, but there was a misunderstanding. This metal detector only lets through things that are 100% metal. All their objects have to go through the side apparatus. 
Gotcha. I can walk through it. Yeah, I can walk through it. It's fine. So we gotta bring over something. Oh no, oh no, we can bring stuff over. We gotta put it on this. Not like that. Okay, there we go. Mm, great. Boing. Boing. Oh, that was close. It's jammed. Oh, well, that's no good. Uh, 100% metal. What is 100% metal here? That looks metal. A little tappy sounds. Oh, nope, I guess not. I thought that was metal. Guess not. Uh, oh, that's... Um, that will probably get rid of the jam. I, can I get, can I break things through? Wait. I broke this through. Wait. Nice. Thanks. Cool. Great. Oh, uh, uh, and, and, yeah, the moment. Status report! I'm not a general. I know, but I feel like a secret agent, so go along with it. I got access to the complete historic database. I am a high clearance official now, but not really. Some nerd from the deep web is hacked to get me in. The website looks like it was built in 1893. I thought that was it, but I'd be able to find what caused, find out what caused your death. But now I have to request the documents to be faxed. So I order a fax machine from my supplier. And the fax machine arrived. It's puke colored, and it looks like it runs on a gas engine because it literally does. Okay. Well, anyways, I set everything up. Then I remembered the upturned in doesn't have any phone lines. The fax machine's not gonna work. I'll admit it, I don't know what to do, Mr. Two. <laughs> there must be something. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened? Someone from outside smashed the window of the lobby through my beautiful windows. A rock? I don't know, I'm hiding. There's a light shining over the desk. It's moving around a lot. It's like a flare. And the air smells like boiled eggs. Oh my, sorry, sir. I'm gonna have to put you on hold. Oh, no, no! Yep. Nope, oh, the chair is just in the elevator with me. Is it gonna stay here? Yeah, now at this part, like actually, well, a few levels before this, I'm completely blind going into this now. <gasps> we kept the magnet. Oh, <laughs> I actually fell for that. <laughs> what am I looking for in here? Can I do thing here? I have my shield. All right, what do we got here? Oh, cool. Everything's stuck to the ceiling, but does have gravity. So we are, we are winning in that department. Okay, cool. Oh. Okay, cool. Shortcut. Nice. Oh! Yo! Yeah, good job, dude! Here, out of my way. My turn. Uh, what's in here? There! Okay, we got that. Nice. Uh, I guess, yeah, just head back then. Cool. I'm winning. Oh, boy! How do they work? Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop it. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, ha, ha. What the? Okay. <laughs> ah, 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 dang it! Oh my gosh. This way. Okay. Okay. Hey! Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I hate those things so much. I hate them. Oh, they're freaky. There we go. Uh. Oh. That's cannons. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, that's cannons. Great. Good to know. Allow, allow. You will learn of me soon. No, I won't. When have you ever been in control of your fate? Even now, you're blindly stepping towards it, cockroach. That's not very nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ow. Okay, we're good. Uh... Okay. Hint, it's a trap. Yep, I had a feeling. Oh, but I'm just better. I'm just simply better. Okay, see ya. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. Cool. Nice. GG. Oh my gosh, that was an easy floor. Oh, is Ick back? Yeah, a bag! But are you okay? Never better, Mr. Utu. After I hung up with the phone on you, I listened a little longer as that thing moved around in the lobby. I heard it panning, I heard it, I could hear some kind of clatter on the marble floor. So I thought, of course, it must be a very unusual breed of dog. I'm sure you had a good time, meantime? Yes, I did. As I expected. But trust me, sir, your luxury suite on floor 1434 will be the best part. I'm sure it will. Anyways, it seemed like this strange being might never leave the lobby. Then I got an idea. I reached for the drawer in my desk where I keep the dog treats. So I shielded my eyes and stood up with the treat and said, here, you want a snack? And and the treat was torn out of my hand before I knew it. Then there was a loud swoop and shattering of my eyes and the thing was gone. I think it might have been more like a bird than a dog, but I think it was both. Ah, I almost forgot to mention, there's a big fat box on my desk. I can only assume it was left here for me by the bird dog thing. So maybe it was like a giant carrier pigeon from hell. But the box is covered in slime. I think it's slobber of the bird dog thing and I'm not touching that. What then? I ordered gloves. They should be arriving shortly. 
Come on. There, there, Mr. Utu. I also want to know how you died. And this box of classified documents surely hides the answer. But we can't be too hasty. I'll, up I'll update you when I can open it safely. Opening the lords. There we go. How lucky you are to have stopped at floor 250. That's the art museum. Ooh. Uh, oh, wow. I'm not a fan of that. Please do not pay attention to the sounds above you. Please focus on the beautiful art, sir. I will. Well, that's a nice one. We'll bring this one back. There we go. Ah, I need that. There we go. Nice. Key. All right. Key acquired. Can I... Can I kill him? Oh. <gasps> hey! <gasps> okay, I got it. Cool. That's how you get past it. Okay. There we go! Okay. Oh my gosh. That... Ooh. Opening the doors! Here we go. Floor 270. Wait, isn't that the asylum? Oh no. Yeah, nice try with that one. That's not happening. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, got the little, little laptop. Can I take this? Yes, I can. Wait. How? I just sent that laptop through the window. Okay, let's take the giant metal door, hit the giant metal switch. Uh, again. Not quite what I was talking about. Nope, come on, you gotta work with me here. There we go. Oh. Okay. Hey. Oh no. It's a grippy sock room. Oh my gosh, it's a dog. What is that thing? Oh, I don't like that thing at all. You need to stop doing that. Stop that. Let me out of here. I don't like that thing at all. Okay. What's that right in front of the door? It's here. Okay. Sir, status report. Yes, Brad. We lost communication once again due to the storm. I assume everything has gone according to plan for you, sir. No. Well, as long as you didn't release Shrimp from his containment, everything should be fine. Shrimp. Yes, about 40 years ago, I securely locked Shrimp in the most safe and happy room imaginable. But a red light just lit up at my desk notifying me that he had escaped. You didn't happen to see a large four-legged thing, did you? I might have. Oh, anyways, the gloves arrived. I was able to open the box safely. Well, there's a lot of documents. I mean, there's so much paper it had to be creased and folded like origami to fit in the box. There's another thing, the paper is glowing. And when I tried to touch it, it burnt me. I had to hold my hand out of the sink. Who ordered prongs? How long will this take? Oh, don't worry, sir, the prongs already arrived. The red hot stack of top secret historic documents is sitting on my desk. But sir, it's hard to flip through a stack of documents with a pair of steel prongs. That's true. Obviously, you need to cool it down. I thought that I might try plunging the stack of documents in a cold bucket of water, but that might destroy the paper. What do I do? Hang it up outside. Hmm, yes, yes, like drying clothes. But well, the storm is getting violent out there. It was angry to eat. It was angry. Oh, yeah, right, a storm. Right. You want it? Hmm, yes, yes, like cooling a bowl of creamy potato. Interesting. There must be a better solution. I'll get back to you shortly. Yep, you do that, man. Open the doors. What? Who are you? Oh, is that just Lawrence again? That's just Lawrence. Never mind. <laughs> oh no. I hate you. I hate you so much! <laughs> uh there we go. Alright, where is the locked door? Uh oh wait, hold on. Not bad. Nice. Beautiful. Interesting room. Hmm, yeah, no, I what? Use those gravel springs uh, somewhere else. Maybe you can carry them anywhere. I think I see you. Okay, so we, I'm not meant to bring him somewhere. I'd gotta bring this. Uh, there. Where'd I go? Cool. Oh my gosh. Very cool. Oh my gosh! Let's just not touch that for now. Oh, nice. The Chaos Fan! Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh my gosh, I can rock it myself. Woo! Wee! See ya! Wee! Ha 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 ha! We sped through that, holy! Open the doors. Here 
go. 4295. I have six house fans on high. Point at the hot stack of documents. I think it's cooling down. Sorry if you're screaming. I can't hear you. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, that was nice. What's gonna change now? Oh dang it. It's a puppy. No sneeze. Aww. You little guy. Are you gonna murder me and tear my flesh off? You are? Who's a good puppy? Keep going straight. Okay. Will do, man. Or so cockroach wraps up the plumbing system? Yeah, maybe. What a disaster. Bl blame the puppy. Remember that storm, you'd be safe in your room right now. I know, right? Disrupting everything. Even the garbage disposal system. Ick is lying to you? No. Nuh-uh. I don't believe you. Is he on the other side, cockroach? Okay. Man. Oh, okay. I'm cool. I'm vibing. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my, what is that? What? <laughs> so these have to discuss our friendship! I've prepared some questions to see if you really care about me. Are you serious? Question one, Sir Ick is my business moniker. What is my real name? Can you remember? You never told me. Ichabod, my real name is Ichabod. Well, at least that's what my parents called me, but somehow they messed it up when writing it down. So formally, I'm Ick. I'm about to die. Shh, the friendship survey's not over. You can still come back from this. Question two, how many arms do I have? One, yes, one. Incorrect. I have two arms, my suit tail never stitched. Oh, ha! Question three, what am I most afraid of? Tight spaces. No, I can't afford to be afraid of tight spaces because I like to stuff my whole body in shoe boxes on a regular basis. Why? Well, there's plenty of applications. For one, what if I need to hide in case of an emergency? And two, what if I want to be delivered to someone's mailbox? I bet you wish you could hype you could hypothetically be delivered to someone's mailbox. Oh, you know the chance, Mr. Utu. What am I most afraid of? Spiders. Absolutely not. Believe it or not, right now there's a spider on my forehead. And guess what? Eight-legged freak has been on my forehead for the past two days. Yes, that's right. I'm sick. I'm a daredevil. You could have seen it on my head when you met me at the front desk, but it's black, so it blends in like a chameleon. I swear sometimes I can hear breathing up there. This concludes the egg friendship survey. I'm about to die! I'll have to analyze the results uh with the team of experts. Up to five business days. Oh, by the way, don't worry about the mother slug. It's Securely contained beneath floor 295. We have security systems in place. Cool. Chapter 3. No, what's this time? Sir, status report. Yes, Corporal? I cooled down the secret documents. I can read them now. It took me 15 minutes just to unfold the paper. And I thought I would need a magnifying glass. Because, you know, the tax is just so small. The first few pages here explain the Big Bang. It really is a complete historic database. Mr. Udu, your cause of death is surely described within these pages. It's gonna take some reading. Oh, don't worry, I skipped ahead. But uh, sorry, sir, I'd like to know everything. I missed after... I, I'm, I'd like to know everything I missed after dying so quick in 1996. Besides, something... Sometimes there's pictures. Yeah! What? It's a straight up town, like old Western almost. Oh, a jail. Oh, okay. Hello, got a key. Oh boy, time to leave. I'm taking the cage with me. Okay, cool, I got it. Isn't it amazing though? Like I was talking to, uh, I was talking to some people about this, right? That's two times now in the past like two months that a horror creator who was like niche popular, like people knew him in that I've known what it's saying. Hold on. Normal? What? Okay. Yeah, normal. A niche creator in like the horror community that people kind of knew, but not really, right? Uh, randomly made something that was so high quality that it blew up, skyrocketing past established brands. That being Gooseworks with Amazing Digital Circus and now Zekers with Lethal Company. Both times that was the case. Like, Lethal Company is outselling Call of Duty right now, which is insane to me. Oh, here we go. What floor are we on? 316. Opening the doors. Here we go. Oh, well, let me grab this. Here we go. Bop. All right. Huh. Okay. It was just a dog. Can I maybe catch one? Nope, no catching. What if I stood here? Yeah! I might be a genius. Uh, okay, how do we... Oh, I need a key. I might be a genius. 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 Okay. Where would I get a key? Is there any hints in here? Yeah, the key. Okay, the key's in there. So how do I get in there? What do I just do this? Oh, my stupidity worked. My stupidity has blessed me on this day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, OK, 
Okay, so then... Alright, we're balling! No more door! Not a fan of that at all. Yeah, I did it. So Utu, did you shut down our furniture production plant? Well, I'm detecting signs of life there, but I'm not finding it on the cameras. I'll deal with it. Well, uh, sir, I don't think it's anything you've seen before. My readings tell me it contains gunpowder, rage, and athletic strength. <laughs> it's a jack. I call these jacks because they like to hide. Oh, no, don't. There's many course of actions, running and screaming. This has not been tested, but theoretically, if executed correctly, it should result in your escape. Okay, put me on speaker, I'll tell you where to go. Okay. Keep going down this tunnel? You got it, man. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> F minus. Okay, man. I'm still reading the document of all history, sir. I must admit the future is not how I thought. Really? I mean, I mean, it's the past, of course, but for me, it's the future. What about? It? I thought after I died, they'd be traveling through space. But everyone's saying they're hangry and they're smashing windows. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get better. It gets better, right? History has ups and downs. Yeah, man. I'm sure they're all skating on hoverboards in space and uh, cloning themselves or whatever they like to do in the year 2062. Opening the doors. Floor 327. What was the upturned aquarium? You see the rare species of Formaglyboglobus. They are real and live fish, I assure you. Yeah, man. This is Ballin the Whale. Ballin? He's actually alive, trust me. I'm not seeing a whale, dude. Oh, this is Ballin. Yo, he's Ballin. Ah, oh, the switch those fans must be somewhere in our upstairs office. Oh, great. Oh, oh, is that a slug? Oh yeah, it is. That's a slug, all right. Mm, mm, see ya! Oh, yeah! Oh, pro strats! Yeah! Yep! Goodbye! Oh, I am so good at this game. So we got a key. Where does that go? There we go. So you go right now, beat the game. There we go. They're off. Got my uh, riot shield. Here we go. We're charging in. Hey, dude. Right. Uh, what's metal that I can bring in? Try this. We'll sand over here. Dang it! Okay, I see, I see the hole. All right. Okay. Right here. Works. All right. And we're off. Yeah! I don't like this at all. Oh my gosh, it's ballin'! He's ballin'! <laughs> He's just a giant! Oh my gosh! He's ballin'! He's ballin'! <laughs> Holy! Open the doors. His name is George. George is mine. George is gonna stay in here. I need a key. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Railing strats? George! Where are you going? Man, what room have I not been in yet? Yay! Okay, key's in there. Okay. So there's a lever somewhere I'm not seeing. <gasps> Wait. Need a vase. Right? There's, there's probably three paintings. There's probably three paintings. Yep. Okay. George? No, actually, no, no, probably not George. Probably, uh, someone that's not George. But George is uh, a bit rambunctious. Okay. Here. Yep. Television. Okay. There we go. Got it. Nice. Yeah. All right. Nice. Pog. Fuse must be in the locked room upstairs. Yes, it probably is. Here we go. Oh! Ballin! Ballin! No! Ballin! Ballin! And the dog's here! Leave, leave. We're leaving with George. We got George. I think we have George at least. Do we have George? Do we have George? Don't despawn George. Hi, George! Wait, is he not active anymore? Do we just have a pet now? We have, we have George. George is sleeping. Dang it. Okay, yeah, we gotta get that. Are these testing dummies? Oh my gosh, they are. Alright, we need a key, okay. Now, what's over here? Okay, it's this. 
No stack. Well, you don't tell me what to do. Cool. And off we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ha, 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 ha. Ah! for this take that enjoy it my good friend ow rude all right nice okay yeah i did it we ball uh oh it's you little puppy what did you do okay come on buddy we're going you coming or not okay so cute <laughs> what a cute little guy hi george how are you how you been man <laughs> i love george dude open the doors oh it's a whole arcade yo epic beam label i got pizza oh oh my gosh it's a boom box it's a boom box i'm keeping this give me that thank you oh definitely it's pajama man no it's not what is it? it is! I knew it! Ow. Oh, hold on. I'm getting called, dude. One second. Something wrong? I hear spanking. <laughs> he followed you all the way from floor 77. How did he get here by busting through the ceiling? You have to throw this thing. You have to throw things at him to slow him down. You have to run through a guard against it if he catches on. It'll be okay, sir. Just get to the elevator of my perfectly normal hotel and everything will be fine. Got it. I got the boom box. Oh, great W! Oh, what? Don't you dare hurt George! Don't you dare hurt George! George, I got you! I got you, George! Oh, chapter four. Grand secret of the upturned in. Ooh. George is here! Is the boombox here? Is everything here? Is there no boombox? Did we lose a boombox? I think we lost a boombox. This is really sad. The elevator, elevator fell down miles. This is great, sir, because... Jig's up, isn't it? Guess I have to tell you. You've probably guessed, haven't you? What? That the upturned in goes down, not up. Sir, don't pull my leg. Of course you've noticed how my hotel has no windows to the outside. And surely you'd be able to hear the storm out there. It's getting louder than anything else. And these floor plans, there's thousands upon thousands. They don't match up. How could upturned in keep from toppling over? That's true. But it's hollow up there. There's no rooms above ground. It's all just for show. Everything happens underneath. It's all the same, Mr. U2. You're quite lucky the elevator fell down so many miles. You made so much progress, sir. Your luxury suite on floor 1434 has never been clo so close. Yeah! All right, see you later, man. For being so close to my floor, uh, I don't like how this how dilapidated this place is looking. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, here we go, okay. Have you found the power plug on the floor yet? No. I'm not picking up any reads of small electrical charge on that floor. I mean, power plug probably isn't there. I guess it's quite lucky you happened upon a power plug in every single floor the elevator stopped on. Well, it doesn't last forever unless you're really lucky, of course. Now what? I don't know, guess you're doomed. I've got no ideas. Oh, you're real helpful, man. Yeah, I'm going back to the elevator, yeah. Yeah, okay, now, now it wants me to go up here. George, hop out! This this definitely feels like the, the end of the game. Status support. Yes. I read up on the year 2037 on the document of all history. It says here that on April of 2037, uh, the human race became aware of a large meteor. News was that in the year and three months, we would be hit directly by a rock five times the size of our planet. Oh my god! Do you think maybe that meteor is what killed you? No. I died two years later. If you didn't die, that means they must have averted the crisis. If you died in 2039, it can't be long at all before we learn what killed you. Maybe, uh, yeah, they must have... Somehow averted it, because that Earth is not surviving that. Oh, give me that. Yeah. All right. Oh, bone. Bring this bone back for George. He's gonna love it. Okay. Put it down. Toss that out. Grab the bone. What can I use to get out of here? I feel like I gotta stack these, but there we go. Got it. Uh. <laughs> okay. Bring this bone back for George. Oh, there it is. Hello there. Thank you. Trash compactor. Oh. Ay! Yeah, bad feeling. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't think we're bringing that bone back for George today. Oh. No bone, unfortunately. 
Oh, there we go. You shut down one of my production plants, my endless supply of donuts and toy robots has dwindled. Yes. Bah, you're lucky the storm saved you from joining all the trash forever. You can hear me, cockroach. Can't you hear the thunder? Shut up! My name is Shut Up after all. I will never be sad, cockroach. Who are you? Ichabod was not keeping just one secret. I am the deepest of all. You will know me soon, sleeper, when I put you to rest. Allow, allow. Okay, that's so cool, man. Thanks for sharing. All right. Okay, bring you back a fridge, man. Cool. You got a fridge. George Fridge making this elevator home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 10 damage. Nice. J plus. J for George in other countries. You get a strange feeling you're being watched. Not really. Oh, hey, man. Uh, bring the doors. Oh, take the leap. <laughs> so it doesn't seem like you can make that leap. Yes, I can. It's okay, sir. There's no need to be scared by your tiny little, your tiny jump height. I don't suppose you've learned the ancient practice of crow taming. I've actually patented the technique, I call it. Heck, heck. What is about to happen? Step one, fight a crow. Step two, let it peck you to heck. If you're not concussed and have at least 10 health points, the crow will see you as worthy and it will take a perch on your hat. Well, until you return to the elevator, but your new feather friend won't hurt you ever again. So remember to let it stop for bathroom breaks. That's it. Thanks. Go break a leg. Will do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> It's a course! Birdie. Take the gun. Oh yeah, 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 sure. Let's take the gun. Let's take the gun. Okay, we gotta be really careful with the gun because it fires automatically. We gotta like toss it as we take it. Like that. That's how we're gonna bring the gun back. Okay, we gotta figure out how to get out of this room first. Alright. What's going on here? Bringing the gun back is gonna be such a challenge. That actually threw. Oh my gosh, we can't bring the gun. Wait, we can. Oh, I gotta, we gotta, I gotta go bring it back. Oh my gosh, hold on. So the gun knocks us back a bit, so if we face forward, we'll actually get boosted forward a little bit. Ah, I screwed up. We can't bring the gun. It's too... It's too... And we're back. Alright. Let's bring something back for, uh, for, uh, George. What can we bring back? What's something nice easy to bring back? A bird corpse. <laughs> Yay! This is my house! 270 damage. Great bird, oh yeah. Look at this, look at this place, it's so nice. The guests on this floor are throwing a birthday party right as we speak, because these guests are always are, their lives are so short. I call them the little chocolers, oh no. They never had a chance to grow past the age of rebellious youth, so the only tradition they pass on through their many generations is the art of prank calling the hotel office. Oh, as long as you've got your trusty flashlight, there's really nothing to worry about. They're little chocolers, but if you're in the dark with them, they'll become little nibblers. <laughs> Sir, you're not scared, are you? You can't be if you've gone this far. No, I'm terrified. No, sir, puff up your chest and beat it like a drum, cause you're a man. A comparatively little man, but a man nonetheless. <laughs> Tell me you're brave. I'm brave. Good enough. Okay, great. Open the doors. Let's furnish a little bit. And uh, we got a nice vase. Oh, never mind. No vase. That better not. That better not have wrecked my. Better not have wrecked my elevator. Uh oh. Okay, what's gonna happen now? We're doing swell, the storm sure is. I think it just tore off a wall somewhere. Uh-oh, don't go in there. Oh my gosh, it's actual children. It's miners, there's miners in there. If you wander in there, keep your limbs attached, you'll need to take in a light. Okay. Ah, here we go, here's a lamp, we'll bring this. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, I hate this, okay. I don't have a magnet to use, unfortunately. Oh, I need a key? Wait, what, where did I miss a key? The rascals will yoink the hat of yours if they get the chance. My hat? Why don't they take my hat? All right. Oh, we got this again. Okay, so big lamp. Um, hope there's another one here. Okay, so we need. Oh my gosh, how are we gonna do this? Okay. Um. And a vase. Okay, I can do the vase. Vase is easy. Never mind. Um. Oh, it responds. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay. And the pizza went on this one. Good. Oh my gosh. Uh, I guess I can run for it. Oh my. Oh, they took my hat! Give me that back. Give me that back right now. That's my lamp? I think so. Awesome. Nice. All right. 
In we go. Um, boom. Oh. Oh, this is neat. Don't fall behind the light. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, dude. Go, oh, got that. Uh, where do we go from here? Okay. Up here? Just like that. Cool. That was such a cool little sequence. Oh no. Oh hey! What's up, buddy? Hey man. Oh, we gotta, we gotta bring something. Oh, we got we we furnish the whole place here. This that's our collectible. We furnish the entire place here. Yeah! Oh, did the dog <gasps> Do we have the dog? Oh my gosh! Hi! You're messing up my furniture. This is actually like an IRL dog. Oh my gosh. Is that shrimp? Yes, it is. Uh, that's where on the meteor which was hurling towards Earth in 2037. Yes. Uh, in the time of prosperity and peace, the human race came together to build an ultra mega nuclear power plant double the size of Australia. Their plan is to split the meteor into tiny pieces like a meatball when it gets crushed between your teeth, conquered, vanquished, never seen that day again. Then there they would house and construct the biggest, fattest, chunkiest, thickest bomb known to man. Capable of destroying planets far greater than our own, it would make even Saturn tremble. It says here they appropriately named this mega nuke big boy and just so when backfire they backed up the big boy nuclear plant with the most cutting edge quantum computers and intelligent ai capable of reacting instantaneously to any core malfunction there's 10 pages about it here sir i'm proud of what humanity has become since we put all our minds together we're really unstoppable about that mr utu do i sense woe in your voice anyways i'll get back to what i'll get back to you when i'm done read more open the doors hey man don't make a mess of my place okay oh you're following me oh my gosh it's little nightmares can you wear that? Can you? Can you? Oh, he's a good puppy. Yeah. You see in this shrimp? Oh, you have no choice but to fight. Shut up. You might enjoy shutting up yourself for a change. <laughs> Crouch. I am helping you. Shut up. Mine is a thankless job. The funnest always are. There we go. This is so cool. Okay. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, I should probably not be going this way. Uh, what do I do? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, boy. Yeah. Nice. Let's bring back a bone. Um. Okay. We are about to do the coolest skip ever known to man. Later, stupid. <laughs> I have locked flight! Where's shrimp? I'm not sure, but shrimp will come back. Hey, there you are. Oh, the big body's not here anymore. That's sad. You are making such a mess of my place, shrimp. Shrimp act. Oh, shrimp? 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 What's happening? I hear boss music. <laughs> is shrimp getting hungry? Yes. I can just say yes. Just throw stuff in his mouth. It's dies very flexibly and anything. Shrimp, stop. I'll yield. Oh my gosh. Okay. Interesting boss fight. Shrimp, stop. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Is there edible will be happier? I don't know. There hasn't been anything edible yet. Oh my gosh. How much do you take, dude? Uh, I need to find a key. Where would that key be? I need to throw something in there. Oh, that was sick! Okay, feed him, feed him, feed him, feed him. Lots of stuff here to throw at him. Uh, there we go. Nice. Oh my gosh! Does he not chill out anymore? Dang it! Am I gonna insta die? I insta died. Lots of stuff in here. There we go. Oh dang it. There we go. Nice. Okay. Gonna get make sure he's overfed, like crazy fed before I leave, cause I'm bringing that boom box with me. Go 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 go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. There's a lamp. We got the boom box. Don't be sad, Trip didn't hate you. I don't know if I believe that. He was just hungry. Oh my. I'm gonna leave now. Key. 
Hi. This is. Here we got. Now, now we have George, and now we have um Phil. Yep. George and Phil. The pals. The homies. This feels like final stage. Call me crazy. This feels like final stage. Nice. Ah, oh, it's falling! It's falling! Where's Phil? There he is. Cool. We got another one. We have a lot of chairs in here. We have a lot of chairs. What floor are we on? Oh, last floor. Here we go. Maybe second last. Second last or last? One of the two. Sir? Yes, sir? Remember the big boy, the mega nuke we built, the splinter, the meteor before it hit Earth? Because you were alive back then. I keep forgetting what this is all for. To find out how you died. I'll tell you what it all, what all occurred, as you may not know the details. Big Boy was entering its finishing stages. The human race was preparing to launch, quadruple checking all the systems were ready. Then a massive solar flare hit Earth directly from the sun. It jammed all our electronics. Satellites began to plummet from the sky in droves, like falling stars. A chunk of metal debris which had been floating in space for 60 years finally fell back to Earth and just happened to land on our mega nuclear power plant. Why, no, of course not. Big Boy was protected from some falling trash. Human race isn't that dumb. Still, this caused a steam explosion in one of our nuclear plants, leading to a meltdown. However, this was quickly, expertly put under control in 15 minutes flat by thousands of professionals all working in tandem. No lives lost, no damage done. Nice. Then, at nearly the same time, an unprecedented volcanic eruption and earthquake occurred. Oh my gosh, dude. You think that's what killed you? No. Sir, that earthquake alone was the greatest disaster we had ever known. It was a Category 12. Do you think you could have just dozed off? I lived. Well, after that, coincidentally, our planet was hit by an intense, concentrated gamma ray burst from a distant star. Coincidentally? Sir, remember what I said about luck? Good luck can't last forever, unless you're really lucky. I almost, I, I almost thought we were. Oh man, what? What? Wait, what? What does that mean? Then the gamma ray burst tore a hole in our atmosphere, exposing our planet to the sun's radiation like a bald man t taking his hat off at the beach. Wonder what happens next? Yes. Big boy explodes. The earth was nearly cracked in two. The skies were blotted by a poisonous photochemical smog. Giant endless firestorms raged even across the Pacific and the Atlantic. There were a few deaths. Sir, that must have been what killed you. No. Aha, sir, you must be pulling my legs. I live. You must really be indestructible. But then, how did you get to the afterlife? Anyways, I guess this explains why no one else had visited the upturned inn since you walked in. I think my job at the front desk might be over. It looks like I have a count a countable number of pages left to read of the history of the universe. Since we don't have much time left, would you like to hear the story of my death? How did you die? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, buckle up. It's story time. So, I was a handsome team. I'd been at a party thrown by a friend who lived alone up in a mountain in his father's mansion. Hardly anyone came but me and my old, my other friend. It was great. There was this rumor in our town of a possessed trucker that circled around the mountain. He was said to be looking for blood. Yes, actually. Oh, wow, I'm a genius. Now I remember. The story went that his truck only fuel was human blood. Pretty metal, huh? <laughs> I got a ride home from my dad that night. He drove so fast I always held onto my seat. There was fog, and our old our old jalopy jalopy headlights barely worked. We got halfway down the mountain. That was when he kicked me out. Why? That's not important to the story. Oh man. Anyways, I could barely see. My breath hung in the air. Did I mention it was winter? Ooh. I spent an eternity walking down the mountain in pitch dark. I thought about a lot of things, mostly about a crush I had on someone that I hadn't told yet. And I got to see the stars in full force in the lonely night sky. At some point, nearly blind in the dark, I stumbled off the road and caught a perfect view of our town through a clearing in the trees. The mountain was so steep I could lie down and watch the stars and see my town all at once. I could have lain there forever, but then dark clouds rolled in. I was about to get soaked, so I got up and started running down the road. When I was almost off the slope of the mountain, two lights burst into view and raced towards me. I was blinded. A rusty semi-truck pulled up beside me. The door lurched open. I saw the barrel of a shotgun, but it was dark in the driver's seat, shadowed from the moon. I heard a voice. It said, Die? Yes, it growled, die. I was already pale and trembling from the bitter cold, but now I was pale and trembling double. What do you think I did, Mr. Utu? Uh, try to take the gun? Doesn't matter. Just then, a giant pine fell and crushed me into one dimension. <laughs> crushed by a tree? Yep, that tree turned me into an ick pancake. <laughs> That's the story of my death. Yes. yes, yes, I know it's an amazing tale. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh boy, here we go. Huh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna be the big final boss fight? Is it- are we gonna fight- are we gonna fight Ballin? Is it gonna be a Ballin fight? Oh? Oh? Not easy enough. Sir, wait! I found the fuse. I know. But you know what happens every time you find the fuse? All hell breaks loose. I have a bad feeling about this floor. Has anything attacked you yet? No. See, it's all gonna happen when you grab the fuse. I suggest you look around for anything you've used to protect yourself. Or maybe nothing will break through that suspiciously cracked wall. And I won't scream run like a squeaky toy. That would be unexpected, wouldn't it? But it's better be safe than sorry. Or, or something like that. Uh, oh. Well, that looks promising. Here we go. 
It's time to go. Oh my gosh. Ah! Uh oh. Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm getting turned around. Yeah, no. No. Ah! Ah! I got a little lost. Here we go. Ah! All right. Oh my gosh. Oh, where'd my stuff go? <laughs> oh, floor complete, sir. Yes. I was going to read about how you died on my own, but I wanted to read it with you. There are not many pages left. Okay, here we go. It looks like humanity was prepared, even for the explosion of Big Boy. For just this scenario, we had already spent the past 30 years constructing. <laughs> We'd already spent the past 30 years constructing a giant city-sized network of, of secure underground bunkers. We'd stockpiled enough food to fill all our bellies for a whole year. Sir, I mentioned you here. It said you were on the front lines organizing the evacuation. Mr. Shutu, that's you. There were still four billion left alive on planet Earth. Maybe this isn't the end of us. Three months past, humanity began to rebuild Big Boy, still racing against time to stop the mega meteor which would arrive in one year. Then, alarms rang out as hungry life forms began to invade the biggest city bunkers. We called these outsiders. In the follow to Big Boy, packed with irradiated wild boars, these monsters were capable of breaking into less secure bunkers and stealing the most vulnerable while they slept wrenching them up into the darkness outside before anyone knew it. Sir, do you think you could have been eaten by one of those outsiders? No. Well, anyways, then a supersized, then the supersized meteor hit, a year ahead of schedule. The whole time there was another meteor coming from the other direction. We never saw it coming. We were too distracted by the first one. Do you think you, maybe you were killed in the impact? I lived. Wow, you're a fighter. Well, then it says Earth was split into three pieces, one of which flew straight into the sun within about 10 minutes. What about that? No. Then there was only a handful of the human race left alive. And it says your name here again. Here you are. One of the nine humans left alive. There's a team of scientists holding out in a seed vault, a seed vault deep underneath a mountain and one man taking cover in his bunker home. You held out for a whole year alone. Then you died. Do you want me to tell you? I tripped and fell, left the gas on, I was murdered, I left the gas on. No, none of those. It was spontaneous combustion. Sorry, sir, while you slept, you caught on fire at the whim of chemistry and chance. Oh. Huh. But hey, on the bright side, you didn't do anything wrong. Wait, did that make it better? I'm sorry, Mr. Utu. I guess your death was just as lousy as mine. Sir, I think we're losing connection. The storm is blustering again, and you're too far down. Before you go, I have to say something quickly. Yeah, I guess we'll never know. My floor. Finally. It's my room. He's <laughs> so used to just ripping doors off their hinges. Before I deal with that, I'm gonna get George a nice little spot here. Oh, we're not. Okay. Allow, allow. Shut up! No, I will not. I am Mr. Saab, the constructor, the manager, and producer, the supplier. No, you're not. That Mr. Ichabod is merely my representative. He made the upturn in a reality, then I turned it into a dream. There will always be vacancy. Every room will be someone's tomb, and that hotel and the hotel's capacity without limit. Allow, allow. Your evil death trap. Yawn. Are you mocking me? You found this hotel in the afterlife wasn't heaven, and you but you descended anyways. You've always held the reservation deep down here. Everyone makes their own. I'm merely fulfilling what your heart demands. You unrest from the storm, rest from all the chaos and wind, and there's no shelter from the weather but down here. Down here you're safe from chance. Random chance which burnt you to a crisp for all the good you've done. There's nothing else to blame. Here you'll have no chance. When I crush and burn you into little dancing embers, just as you like, you'll have no chance. I'll even leave it up to you. Would you like to be shaped into a mouth with arms, or a giant slug, or an angry crow? Would you help me- Oh! Oh yeah, maybe a pane of glass. <laughs> You're surprisingly cooperative. Very well then. I'm gonna burn the smashing embers and make them dance. Don't, 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 sit, keep, just keep George out of it. Keep George out of it. Oh my gosh! Oh, 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 oh. Okay. George? 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 I think George has been killed. I don't think we should have brought George in the room. That cursed storm. Hi, shrimp. Oh, man. Hi. Where are you going? Is George in here? George is gone, chat. Hey, Phil. Hey, man. What button do I press? There we go. You don't have your best interest in mind. Shh. No, you don't. Let's look at a monster. I use your first name because I'm a friend. Phil? Uh. <laughs> Everything I've loved is being taken from me. The thunder rumbles down through all these floors like a cold chill's a bone. I can never treat them fully. No one really dies in the afterlife. You can never close your eyes, I can mash them into dust, but those beady white pearls always remain. They're indestructible, so bright, seeing everything. Oh my gosh, it's a jester. 
Death is a big scam. I can never die. I can never be safe. I can hear the thunder. It wants me like it wants you. The storm wants to gain our trust. Lead us outside. The leave us lost and afraid. We can never be safe. Not from ourselves. Not when we last forever. Oh, man. What? But we're all but we're all the butt of it. Oh, my. There's no punchline. No, there's a punchline. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, man. Yep. You got it, dude. Yep. Oh, man. He's gone, too. Oh, get a call. Ick. Yeah! Sir, is that you? Are you alive? My room, my room sucks. I'm sorry, I tried to tell you about Mr. Saw, but I waited too long, and we lost connection. He's the real owner of the hotel now. I gave it all up a long time ago, but that was a mistake. I don't want it now anyways. I pretended the upturn in was a normal hotel after he turned it into some kind of death trap. I turned a blind eye, as they say. On the bright side, do you remember the friendship survey I forced you to take? Yes. Well, you passed. Yay! Congratulations, Mr. Utu. This is a momentous occasion. Shame I left my party poppers at my desk. I haven't been outside in the afterlife for some 40 years. Now I feel like a kid who ran outside to see the fireworks. I finally decided I'd rather wander out here than be in that rotten building. I've lied to myself about it for too long. Where are you? There's trees. I And I wandered by a rusty theme park ride half sunken in the dirt. Must have been there for a hundred years. I guess someone else thought this place needed some entertainment. Oh my gosh. I don't think we've going to knock into each other, Mr. Utu. This force is too big. Anyways, I finished reading the document of all history. When I got to the present time, I saw the document was writing itself. The paper was growing to make more space. I wish I could have done that on my math homework. <laughs> I read about the last group of humans on the sil on the sliver of Earth. Three young scientists huddled together in a seed vault built deep within a mountain. Wanna know what happened to them? I read it all as it took place. Yes. They stayed alive for a few weeks. Then two of them got into an argument over who had dibs on a bag of chips. We spiraled into murder. They both died. And what about the last human alive? She tripped and hit her head. That's funny. Ha! Not how I thought the human race would go out, but not sure what I expected. By the way, while I was reading, Shrimp snuck his way out through the elevator shaft, barked at me, and bounded out through a broken window. I guess he's free now because of you. Something about that thing's eyes reminded me of the first guest I ever checked into the upturn in. What a time ago that was. I guess that's it then. We know how you, I, and the human race all came to an end. Seems to me like the curtain's closing. What, with the end of all human life on Earth? and this sudden raging storm in the afterlife. Mr. Utu, did you learn anything from your life on Earth? No. Ha, me neither. What a hubbub. The human race did all it could, and look what it got. A bad luck Sunday with a nasty cherry on top. Now oh, the forest has gone quiet where I am. I feel like I should whisper. The sky darkened, and I can't see you anymore. Oh, good heavens. What? My shadow just ran away and jumped through the bushes, silly thing. I feel some big, something big approaching this way. Maybe you should run? Sir, I can barely hear you. I don't think there's any use running or hiding. I waste my whole life hiding. Maybe I'll just say hello. Sorry, sir, I might have put you on hold. I think there's not much time left. Maybe there's something we don't know about. Something deeper than the upturned. Maybe it's barely towards us from the beginning. When I was alive, I was scared of the dark at night. I would watch the water heater that stood outside my bedroom door. It was towering and immovable, like, like a water heater. I would listen to it gurgling and humming as my heart beat loud in my ears. And I pretend it was a train chugging really fast. A train that didn't need a track, bulldozing through trees and mountains. I don't know if it helped. Well, anyways, the forest sounds a lot like my room right now. Maybe it's doing that on purpose. Oh, that's even brighter than my collection of strobe lights. Sorry, sir, our lights are busy at the moment. I think I'm going to have to put you on hold. Until next time. Ick? Buddy? Uh-oh. Oh. We're taking this with me. The one thing I have left... It's slightly reminiscent of George's cage. We're bringing it with us. I miss him already. Oh, man. I miss him already. I don't got bottles. I only have sadness. I miss him already. Yep. Yep, there goes all the sound. Okay. Interesting. Wow, well, a lot of the emotion just got lost very quickly. Wow. Um. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's oh, uh, no, uh, uh, okay. oh, man, I miss George. I miss George. Oh, okay. Oh, we're back to this. Okay. Oh, what the? Hello? Is that the Lone Ranger? Are you George's spirit? Is that George's spirit? It's the writer. Oh, yeah, that was mentioned. I don't know what the writer is, but it was mentioned. Huh. The upturn. Oh, dude. Oh, the leg! Oh, the leg! The leg! That... That was great. That was... That was great. That was awesome. That was... A great game.